All right, as we move through the next 24 hours, we have temperatures that are going to jump close to 80 degrees on Friday afternoon. Forecast high in Savannah, 79. Record high also 79. That was set way back in 1952. And if you remember, January 3rd of 2018, we were not dealing with record warmth, but instead record cold. The high temperature on that day was only 30 degrees, and we also picked up a couple inches of snow in many backyards. Our temperatures right now, it's comfortable outside. Really not all that humid either. The humidity will start to build in late tonight and tomorrow. So nice and comfy, 50s to low 60s in most spots. 61 in Savannah, upper 50s, Ridgeland, Buford, and Hilton Head. And finding that warmer air to our south, and once winds turn a little more southerly after midnight, that will get drawn to the north as a warm front will continue to progress through our area. Lots of rain circulating uh, around a ridge that's protecting us at the moment that will begin exiting east and that will allow the cold front and storm system to start approaching our area until we get there though. We have a mild night ahead of us could throw the windows open just a little patchy fog here and there overnight out the door tomorrow morning. Really do not grab the jacket extra layers. They're not needed. It's a very fast temperature climb as we start in the low 60s and then by afternoon we saw that close to 80 degrees. Rain chances tomorrow, if there's anything, it's very late in the day, maybe into Friday evening. A better chance Friday night and the first half of Saturday. That's an impact weather day. Could be some thunderstorms. A lot of wind is expected that day with that cold front passing through our area. Let's go through future cast now tonight. This is just some cloud cover. Watch a little fog. We'll try to hug the coastline, even inland. Maybe a little patchy fog if we see skies clear out for a time. Not much rain tomorrow, which is represented by the green. Could be a little sprinkler light shower well inland. Our main rain chance starts to move in, though, Friday night and into early Saturday. Here it is, a couple scattered showers initially. Right along the front, though, could be some pockets of heavy rain, embedded thunderstorms. This will kick off the weekend early on Saturday. That blows through pretty quick, but then behind it, maybe a leftover shower or some sprinkles as a second front begins to move in. So a lot going on Saturday. That's not the best day for your outdoor plans. It's not a complete washout, but here's what you can expect. Showers and thunderstorms Saturday. That's mainly in the morning. Rain totals a half inch to about one inch. Windy and turning cooler Saturday afternoon and evening. Some wind gusts may be about 30 to 35 miles per hour. And the weekend planner will go 68 degrees right now, but you may wake up. It could be 70. And then temperatures fall off a bit during the afternoon. 57 degrees on Sunday. That's after starting off in the morning in the 30s. Here is your certified most accurate forecast. A bit of weather whiplash again near 80 Friday. Upper 60s on Saturday with some morning rain and thunderstorms. Sunday is likely the pick day of the weekend. It is cooler, but sunshine and less wind. And then 50s to 60s for most of next week. Track our forecast on the go. It is the area certified.